Hey guys, how's it going? We just watched a, a fun little B-roll sequence that I tried to shoot uh, yesterday in the forest. I went out to Rolly Lake, uh, tried to have a good time out there, starting off my New Year's resolution strong, getting out and adventuring and doing more things. And it, uh, I don't want to say it went poorly, but it definitely didn't come out exactly how I thought. It was, it was dreaming in my mind for it too. I, I really wanted to go out there and just film this epic b-roll of the forest and like all the people around me since I, I live in BC I see so many amazing people doing forest b-roll like in mist amazing production it's Big Ben Zach Mellis if you guys know who these these guys you know they're the best and they always kill it and so I was like oh, I want to shoot some stuff like that I want to shoot some really cool b-roll but it was just raining so much that I couldn't really do anything about it it's just like I would take my camera out and I'd, I'd shoot a quick shot for a second, but then I'd have to be like walking around with it stuffed underneath my jacket. But I also wanted to have my jacket closed because it was raining and cold. And then I started off by trying to shoot on the 7200, but it was just too big because I couldn't hide it under my jacket when I wasn't shooting with it. After I finished grabbing, trying to grab a quick shot, and this was all handheld, so it was just challenging with the 7200 doing it that way so I was like fine I'll put this away I'll pack it away uh, and then the 1635 actually ended up working a lot better I could hide it in my jacket and then take it out when I wanted to shoot a shot but eventually it just, it just gave up the, the light wasn't there I was shooting at like five or six thousand ISO at a lot of times uh, but I definitely learned a lot from it uh, this was a kind of in preparation of me going on a big shoot next weekend because for work we're doing a big off-road Jeep adventure where we're taking four cars from the dealership going out into past Harrison Lake to do some off-roading and talk about the cars, talk about the brand, uh, just get a lot of content and that's going to be a full day shoot and we're running two cameras, tons of gear and I just wanted to kind of give myself a little test and a little prep, uh, get my head running in the minds of this again. And a few of the things I picked up were don't shoot everything at 120. You'll, you'll just screw yourself over. The ISO that I had to crank on some of these shots just ruined them. And I was like, 60p is fine. Like 60 frames, like you can slow that down a lot, and it's still good. Or even shooting in 30, still getting that 80% slow mo will be just fine. So that's definitely something I'm going to change for next week. And also just the fact that if it's raining, just fuck it, I'm not doing it, like, no, it's gonna be, if it was hard for me to shoot handheld in the rain, bringing gimbals and drones and tripods and sliders along while we're trying to shoot four cars going up mountains, it's gonna, it's gonna be hell, so I'm, if, if it's dry, it's great, but if it's not dry, I think we're just gonna postpone the shoot, but I'm really glad that I got out yesterday and that it did rain on me and that it did kind of inhibit me getting anything out of anything cr super crazy out of the shoot uh, because it showed me uh, exactly what I'm in for and uh, honestly it was a good time anyway I had to dry everything out everything was soaked but the wandered bag I love it uh, it's super great I didn't bring the wet rain cover though so uh, stuff got a little bit wet um, but yeah pro tip if you ever get caught in the rain like we do in BC it happens all the time it, things just get wet cameras always wet Put your camera on your dashboard and just crank the air conditioning. That's how I dry my stuff out all the time. Dries your camera out in like a couple minutes, five minutes, and you're, you'll be back dry, dry as ever. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the little edit video that I made. Um, it was it was still pretty fun. I got I'm actually I'm actually kind of happy with it. it. It looks I got some cool shots that I'm pretty happy and pleased with. So. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, gonna be doing some more stuff. Hopefully for 2020, uh, we're doing New Year's resolutions this year. Pretty big. I just put out a video about minimalism and that being part of my New Year's resolutions. But one of my New Year's resolutions is to put out a video on YouTube every week for the year. So uh, I don't really care what they are or if anyone ever watches them or if they're good or if they're bad. I just want to do it as an exercise to just get the practice out and then maybe next year I'll consider putting effort into videos and making them and actually wanting people to watch it grow and actually wanting to make it the platform that it is uh, but for this next year I'm just gonna try and just keep doing something every week whether it's just me talking to you like this or me shooting a quick b-roll sequence or me breaking down a video that I shot for work or whatever it happens to be or 
it's whatever I decide. I don't, <laughs> there's no stipulation on what it is, it's just a video a week. So, that alongside a bunch of my other news, New Year's resolutions should make 2021 better than 2020. And 2020 was better than 2019. I mean, some aspects no, but some aspects yes. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, stick around. I'll see you in the next one.